anyone who's been through Moody, even for a short period of time, Lucy Green and Moody Air Force Base are synonymous. At one point, Moody was threatened by a BRAC closure. So we realized at that time it was going to be critical that we form a team and have advocates who would work on behalf of Moody. We chose to hire uh, Parker Green, who was Dr. Lucy's husband, and Parker came to work for us to lead our Moody support efforts and become our military advocate. And obviously, that was not a one-person job, and Dr. Lucy was always with him and beside him and supporting him. And the two really became our community ambassadors. Lucy is a force in her own right and such a community advocate. I prepare a morning report every day. I read everything that comes in from the Pentagon and from my sources in Washington. And I prepare a summary that goes out to my county and city government officials, plus my Moody support team. Uh, Lucy is a career educator and she was able to help and make sure that as children were transferring into this community that their credits uh, were going to be counted uh, towards their graduation, even towards their class standing. Spousal employment became an issue with the Air Force some years ago. Someone might be an engineer or a nurse uh, that perhaps Georgia uh, needed to improve its ability to have reciprocal licensing. Lucy really led the effort to make sure the state of Georgia and this community address things to make it easier for those spouses to have employment during the time that they were here in Valdosta and Lowndes County. I had a greater role uh, as we continued the work and then Parker became ill and passed away and the city and county asked me to maintain the relationship with the base and with the community. Lucy is in those rooms and has direct contact with those that are leading our Air Force. I've referred to her several times over the years in meetings as a national treasure. And I truly believe that she is because her love and care and concern for those that serve at Moody really becomes a force multiplier because that has been spread all over the United States Air Force and those stories have been told. In Moody Air Force Base, many times when people ask a question about Moody Air Force Base, the first question is, well, you must know Dr. Lucy Green. I enjoy the people that I work with. I do so admire our Air Force personnel. It's an all-volunteer service. You know, these people don't have to be there. They step up and they want to serve the country and they want to defend the country and they're so proud of what they do and they do it so well. And uh, that is what motivates me. I admire that. She's there when we have airmen that are deployed and she's there when they return and she's there to support families and participate in holiday functions. Well, I would say there's never a day that Lucy Green is not doing something for the benefit of the men and women who serve our country and serve at Moody Air Force Base.